Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm back with a super quick little cute idea that you can use for any holiday. Um, but I did all mine Christmas themed as you see here. I'm calling these binder clip greetings is what I am calling them. And I've seen a lot of different variations of binder clips decorated and so forth. And I just decided I was gonna make my binder clips greetings. And I just thought that these kind of turned out pretty cute. You can decorate these up any way you want. Um, but yeah, super easy, a 10 minute project. You're going to love it. You're going to love it because it's fast. And if you wanted to make these like for your coworker, if you wanted to do Halloween themed, do them Halloween. You can do Valentine's, you know, Easter, whatever um, would be super, super cute. But yeah, these are the ones that I've already created. And I am going to create one really quick on camera. Now I had some chipboard in, in my little Christmas stash. And I found this one, it says, just like to smile, smiling's my favorite. It's from Buddy the Elf. And I thought that was pretty cute. Um, but anyway, and like some of them I punched out. This one was in my chipboard. And then um, this one I punched out a scallop and you know the drill. Like I always do, punch out scallops and layer them up. Yeah, or you can hand write anything you want to do. These are super, super easy, and uh, yeah, let's just quickly get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're gonna need a binder clip, and you're going to need a piece of paper that measures two inches by three and one fourth, okay? And I've got two-sided paper, but I kinda like this one the best. I just went through my scraps. This is a great scrap bester. Um, but anyway, so what I did is I cut my paper down and then I used some of my faithful old red tape and I put one strip on each end. So I'm going to put one strip here and one strip here at the end. Today on my lunch break, I went to my car. I like to sit in my car a lot at lunchtime just to have a little quiet time. And I sat in my car and I was working on these um, bookmarks. I had cut up my scraps and I'm making bookmarks to give away at my craft fair. They're not gonna be for sale. I'm gonna give them away. And I wanted to make it as a way to advertise for my channel to try to increase my subscribers. So I got in my car this afternoon and there was like little dots from where I'd punched holes all over my seat. And I'm like, well, this is the sign of, a, of a, a crafter that never wants to give up because believe me, I was doing it in my car at lunchtime. Okay, let's get back on this. Okay, so what you need to do is I peeled off my red tape. You don't have to put any underneath if you want, unless you just want to. I didn't see a need to. Line it up right underneath that groove. Press it down and go ahead and just bring it on around. Kind of use your fingers and just kind of kind of press it down. And then it becomes a much cuter binder clip. Wouldn't you rather have this one than this one? That's pretty ugly. Okay, so all you need to do is decide what kind of embellishment you want. So I'm going through and I have a bunch of like my chipboard, little chipboard things. So I'm trying to decide what I wanted to do. Um, let's see here, I have, these would be cute because it matches the paper, or I could do it up here, I could do it here. I might just put one and just put it over here because it, it kind of matches the paper as far as what's, what's in the style. So I'm just gonna, quickly grab a little glue gun put some glue on the back because I kind of like it that it kind of kind of matches the theme of my paper let's see I think I have one more 
I don't know if I want to. I could always layer them up like this. I could layer them here. Or maybe I could just leave, put one. I think I'll just put one. Because I don't want to overdo and I still want to see my cute paper. So anyway, um, yeah. Oh, here is a Hershey Kiss. That'd be cute. I will do that. That'd be cute because it's kind of like having, you know, kind of like having little candies together is what it kind of reminds me of. So I put some glue and I'm just gonna layer it up. Kinda put it where I want it. Yeah, these right here are super cute, huh y'all? So cute, I'll be using those for something. And I do have some little gum drops. I could add a gum gum drop on here. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'll put a gum drop. So I have covered up the paper. At least they can see the back, but at least this kind of goes in with the candy theme. I'm just going to layer it up like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now the next thing that I need to do is I need to add some ribbon. So I have all kinds of ribbon. I have all kinds of ribbon here on my desk. Let's see, you can use Rick Rack, and it would even be cute if you wanted to add some trim to this as well if you weren't totally covering up like I just did that would be cute too um I think that let me see what this one looks like yeah so the person that parks next to me at work probably sees all these little punch out for little punch outs from that I swooped out of my car today that's the sign of a crafter that doesn't give up, though, y'all. One that takes it to work and does it on her lunch break. It's just because I have just, I just have these goals that I don't want to give up. I want to finish it. You know, I just want to, want to be, I just want to make sure I have everything done. Oh, and by the way, y'all, I signed up today for the craft fair in December. It's December 1st, and it's the one I do every year. And, um... Yeah, I wasn't too happy that the price went up for the booth. It went up to $80 last year. It was $75. And it is an outside booth, and I chose that because I just think that the outside booths get more business. And I live in Texas, so a lot of times we don't really have too much bad weather around then. So I just take my chance. Okay, I'm going to tie this in a knot. But anyway, I did get an acceptance letter from the city accepting me as a vendor so that was good so now I got that out of the way now I just gotta pay my fee and I'll be done okay so I've tied that in a knot and I'm gonna trim it off a little bit I like to cut mine at a diagonal cut this one okay so it's coming along it's gone from ugly to cuter got the little glue string on there okay so I am just going to go ahead and I think um, what I'm going to do is just punch out this would even be cute putting this up here or putting up here I might put this on my little punch out so let me grab that so I'm gonna punch out a scallop and then I'm going to punch out a white one it's two and a half and a two inch. So let me go grab this in my little bin here. Yep, I got another scrap. I save all my scraps, mostly when it's cute paper like this, y'all. This is pretty cute. The nice thing about this one is, is it's double-sided. So yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna, I got my two and a half inch scallop. As I normally do, these punches are fabulous. And I've got my white paper. I got this pack of white paper and the little bins at Joann Fabrics, and it comes in handy having a little pack of white paper just laying here on your desk. So I am going to, you can layer it with some glue or you can put some foam. I think for these, because I'm going to slip them down in the edge of the clip to put the grating, I'm just going to use my glue. Y'all 
could get these done like really fast. It just take me a little longer because I talk too much. Tell me if I, yeah. Tell me what you think of these little cute little things here. I've always got some kind of story to tell y'all though. And let's see here. Anna Rosales, I did see your, your message a while ago if you're watching this. And um, yeah, I will get together some of my some of my um, paper and send to you. Um, sorry, I didn't reach out to you before now, um, but it's been super super busy. So I'm just gonna do this one and put season's greetings on it. But I'm gonna clip off the edge of this that makes it look like a like a saying. I'm just gonna do, you can do whatever you want. Whatever you want with these. I think I should probably have not did this. I'm gonna move it down a little bit because it's not gonna stick in the clip, y'all. So I probably don't wanna do that either. I'm just gonna put it in the center and call it a day. Okay, I'll get this one right. Okay, there we go. This is what happens when I move it around several times. This is how you know my channel is real. <laughs> I just do it until I figure it out how I think I would like it to look. So, I really wish I could put some extra little embellishment, but I've got to make sure that this is going to stick. I want my greeting to stick up in here. So, yeah, that's pretty cute. I think what I'm going to do is, good thing this is a sticker, I'm going to move this up and I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add this up here. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cute. What do y'all think? Y'all think it's pretty cute? Or not cute? I don't know. I just kind of, I just wing it on almost everything that I make. I wing it. And if I like it, good. If I don't, Good. So, you know, I could just do it like this. You can add stuff up here. As long as you've got a good adhesive. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go. You can always put something on the back as well. I love, love, love this paper. Got to make sure that one goes under. But there we go. We have a binder clip greeting. That's what these are called. Told y'all it was super easy and super quick. These would be great. I'm not really sure I'd do these for a craft fair. Or if you did do these for a craft oh, great idea. If you did do these for a craft fair, you could package these up like maybe two in a pack. And they could be little um, binder clip greetings that come in a pack and you could sell them like, put two in a pack for maybe three bucks or 250. You know, let me know what you think of that. Binder clip greetings in a package, or you can just use these and give them out to coworkers, give them out to teachers. You know, kids can take it for the teachers or whatever. Whatever. These are super cute, and yeah, they went from we went from 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 bland to grand. I think that's what we should say. That's what these went from. So what do y'all think? Super easy, super quick, a way to use up your binder clips and a way to use up scraps of paper. Super easy and um, yeah, they're really cute. I really think they're cute. Um, also another variation that you could do is instead of putting a greeting, you could put a photo. I've seen a lot of these binder clip projects where people put photos. That's another great variation as well. Okay, so uh, I hope y'all like this, and I hope that you'll give this a try. Um, yeah, this would be super super cute. This would even cute be cute if you did birthday theme, and maybe put a little cupcake next to it with this little greeting. Instead of giving a card, it'd be a binder clip greeting. I think that's a great idea. Okay, well, I am going to let you guys go, and y'all have a great evening. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.